Hello everyone, I'm FD Gary. I'm a young architect from the Netherlands and uh, in this video I am gonna uh, um, replace this old cable that was permanently connected to my mechanical keyboard with a much with a possibility uh, of being able to connect whichever cable I want on my mechanical keyboard keyboard as well as um, um, uh, no need to carry around this massive uh, bollock uh, with the keyboard all the time and it's a very cumbersome and very very uh, tight uh, cable it's not smooth at all it's very heavy and I don't need all these connections because I don't need the external USB so it's it's a lot of uh, junk that that uh, if, if this cable is damaged, then you have to throw away the whole keyboard, which I think doesn't fit in an elegant design. So we're going to replace this whole connection from the permanent cable with something that I bought online for a euro or something very, very cheap. And that's a, uh, a, uh, uh, that's a standard mini USB uh, connection board. And apparently, uh, normal USB and mini USB same share the same uh, uh, layout and so this is a keyboard and by detaching the cable uh, which was sitting permanently out uh, of this keyboard it makes it very mobile and very easy to install and deinstall. so it's it's a much more uh, modern way to use such a high quality keyboard because now I can I can connect in the future after I've done the modification. I could I could connect my uh, this gray cable, or I could go for a very long cable, or even I could go for this my favorite cable, which weighs nothing and it's very high quality, rubberized, um, and it has the USB mini USB to normal USB and. Uh, it weighs nothing and it's very very light, feather light and really nice to have to be able to connect it somehow to this which then feeds the main board of the mechanical keyboard and then you have like your freedom, you can use any kind of cable and um, especially if your cable is damaged or otherwise not working or if it's too long. So first thing I have done is I have made a, um, I tried to to glue a, a a mini USB, but the problem here is that this is just very wobbly and it doesn't sit really tight. So um, I chipped away a little bit of the side. I'm careful not to create shortcuts there. And um, as I saw on the keyboard. I'll show it to you. Um, the pin layouts accidentally is exactly the same, I believe, because from left to right it says VDD on the main board and it says here V bus. I believe they are the same. Then it says D minus, same here, D minus. Then D plus, D plus, same here. Then it says GND on the main board and here it is ID. And I believe that ID, that is a pin which only needs to be connected for host appliances. And for device appliances, like this keyboard, it doesn't need to be connected. Um, and on the main board, the last connection is SGND, or maybe a kind of a ground. And here it says GND for ground. I checked with the multimeter and the GND and the SGND they they uh, beep together so they, they have a they are connected to together and and connected to the um, to the ground uh, of this aluminium chassis which is a a, a very very nice keyboard um, that has an alum aluminium outer chassis. So I've made this and I drilled two holes in the plastic so that, as you can see, this fix fits now really snug. And I want to go ahead and uh, glue this on the board. And in a future video, I'm going to actually create solder joints and then I'm going to test out to see if this worked at all or not. And obviously, if you plug this in, uh, you have uh, cable freedom.
and you can use whichever cable you want I mean like this weighs nothing and imagine you are stuck with everywhere you go you have to bring this amount of cable with you uh, it's just it's, it's not the future of timeless modular design uh, so that's the next step to to create some glue have a handy paper just in case I spill over a little bit and I want it to fit perfectly first it's already clean I believe it's new not used so should be okay Now I'm gonna create some uh, I can go ahead and first try to Oh that's a that's a very strong smell. It means the glue is still fresh. Oh yeah, maybe some a little bit on that uh, back corner. into the holes that's fine so that is one side and now for the other side oops that's the spill over that i forecasted into the holes and if that's not out so there's two parts which then oh that's really a tight fit excellent excellent now I've here a very tiny screw that I uh, found somewhere which is very happy to be to be able to be kicked back into a live and be used for this tiny purpose mm, I believe maybe they could use a little bit of glue so that they can actually be stuck in their position but you get the idea the main board is sitting nicely and after it is glued and pinned down it will not be able to move when you uh, put in the plug and take out because of course it uses a lot of force to do this and um, after that it should be able to hold its own Just put a tiny bit of glue there. Oh, that of course always happens. This is not my favorite uh, glue. You can you can tell by uh, my accent. I, I don't know uh, which other glue would be a better way to fuse plastics, hard plastics, which is easily available everywhere and doesn't create this uh, really unusable lines everywhere maybe a glue with more consistency would be nicer i don't mind if it's a if it's a bit more um, solid let's say and less fluid so it doesn't create this 
easily flowable. I don't mind pressing harder and, and having a glue that is more, uh, has a higher viscosity. But uh, this thing sits now really, really nicely. Okay, so that is uh, this part of the video, part one. And in the second part, I will go ahead and uh, create solder joints between the main board connections and this, uh, let's say, external mini USB female connection. And uh, we can, of course, do the same for this extra USB drive thingy, which, uh, which finds its uh, connection point here on the main board. But I have seriously never used this and maybe I'll just get rid of this whole thing as well and create a more minimalistic uh, layout. But I can just leave it as it is. I have tested already by if I only connect the, the main board to the computer and not connect the, the extra connection. Um, let me see which one is that. So yeah, if I only connected this one and not this one, um, then, the com then all the functions worked, the lighting, the RGB, and even I tried to connect uh, the firmware upgradable part and then saving to the memory and the profiles, everything worked perfectly with just this one connection. Apparently, this extra connection is for only for the uh, extra USB uh, plug that you can connect uh, um, like a USB drive or something. And I, I, I found it really interesting that Corsair has gone and created so much extra costs and materials and plastics and, uh, and, and who uses, who uses the external, who is so lazy that cannot put the USB drive into the computer or a USB hub or back of the main board or keyboard, uh, I'd say the, the laptop and, and is so lazy that wants to connect directly to the keyboard. I think this is a bad des design choice because it creates so much extra stuff that is rarely used. Um, um, elegant design wins over lazy, uh, fat, uh, um, accumulating, uh, not moving and not uh, fit uh, um, uh, uh, activities. So in this case, I think the um, the best way is to allow people to reuse their own cable and not manufacture another yet another new cable for USB. I mean, how many millions and millions and millions of stuff is just sitting unused? And then what uh, does Corsair do? Hmm. Let's make uh, let's make some extra cables, and that uh, people can uh, that we have to manufacture and. Uh, that people don't use because they don't need it. Um, so that's the end of this video. In the next one, we're going to connect and then test to see if it all works with just our own cable. See you.